Hi, my name is Ricardo. We're going to start with the first learning objective, explaining the general sequence of events that follow lipophilic ligand binding to intracellular receptors. So our first step that we have here is our ligands. Um, as you can see, they have different shapes. That's going to be important. So from there, since they're lipophilic, they're going to be able to cross the membrane and they're going to bind to their specific receptor. So right here is an example of specificity. We have to remember that not just any ligand is going to bind to any receptor. They have to be specific to each other so that we can have our cellular response. So once our ligand binds to our receptor, we're going to have a cellular response. And just remember that's going to be a slower response um, related to changes in gene activity. And then let's go to our second one. And it's described the general sequence um, sequence that follow lipophobic ligand binding to a surface um, to a cell membrane or cell surface receptor. So from here, same thing. We start with a ligand. It's going to bind to our um, receptor. And from there, we're going to have a cellular response. But comparing this one to the previous one, this one's going to be a rapid one. So two things that I would remember is that you're going to have the difference between lipophilic and lipophobic. Remember those two. And then just remember that when you're binding to the cell membrane one, you're going to have a um, rapid cell response. And when you're binding to the intracellular ones or like the um, um, nuclear or cytosol ones, you're going to have a cell response. Our third one is going to be to name and describe the four uh, major groups of cell um, surface receptors. First one that we're going to have is our um, channel receptor channel one, which ligand binding as, um, closes or opens a channel. Second one that we're going to have is our G-protein um, G coupled receptor. This one, when it binds or ligand binds, it's going to um, open or close a channel or it's going to um, alter enzyme activity. Third one that we're going to have is our receptor enzyme one, which is this one. And ligand binding to our receptor enzyme is going to activate an intracellular enzyme. And then we have our last one, which is going to be the integrin one. And ligand binding to our integrin is going to alter enzymes or the cytoskeleton. So example of channels that we talked about was the sodium channel, um, sodium potassium channel. Example with the G protein one is that we have our ligand binding, it activates our G protein, it then activates um, adenocyclase, which turns ATP to psychic AMP. That's gonna activate um, protein kinase A, and then protein kinase A is gonna phosphorylate protein so that we can have our cell response. And then just know too that with integrin ones, they anchor to the membrane via anchor proteins. And yeah.